I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Harris fields it at the one. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the 26 yard line. Nice run and he's brought down. Seven yards there for the halfback and he also picks up a new set of downs. Good job to let the play develop and pick up a nice gain for a first down. Here's an opening, and he's tackled after positive yardage. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Brown gets the call again. Tackle at the 39. play and the defense was ready for it. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Hope, the return man. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. That makes it second and ten. to that quickly and they make the stop around the 41 yard line superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result again a nice play for the offense runs left and quickly taken down no gain on the play that makes it second and ten 23 watch 23 Scrambling around, runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Slings it, and down he goes at the 38-yard line. to his receiver and he's taken down at the 25 we've got a first and 10 ball on the 25 yard line maybe got two feet on the play once the wide receiver made the catch he just kind of ran out of real estate there was nowhere for him to go down around the 14 yard line i like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker it was just a better call by the offense and that's why it's a first down oh it almost picked off well you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers so that was a really good effort second down 10 to go ball on the 14 yard line
Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of three. That'll make it third and 13. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. defense has to be very frustrated there they did everything they got to the quarterback in fact it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack and somehow he's able to throw the ball away Miami is looking to go up by three kicks away and it sails through the uprights looks like they're ready for the kick he sends this one deep This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Miami's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down and put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run there. Brown comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. Caught open field. He's out of bounds at about the 41. First down. Runs it left for a decent game. Gaining five on the play. That brings him second and five. Nice run to the outside. Gain of six yards. First down. made around the 45 yard line got a man watch out here and he shoved out of bounds around the 32 yard line Gain of 13 yards that makes it first and 10 from the 32 yard line First down. Ready! Great out of five! He's on the run. And he's tackled at about the 31. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds around the 21-yard line. Stanley gets it on the inside. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. We're through one quarter. The Hurricanes with a three-point lead. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Ready! Three, nine. Pass, pass, pass. There's a strike complete. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Hard of eight eight yards. Yards. That, that makes it first and goal. goal. He's tackled at the eight. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. 
He gets out to about the six-yard line. That's a game of two. Get up, get up, get up. That makes his third and goal. Quick strike, and he drops it. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. UAB is looking to tie things up. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Quinn has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Hope fields it at the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. hit and taken down. They go with a run and he's taken down behind the line. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Throws it deep. Caught with room to work. Touchdown, Hurricanes. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 70-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. So our score, 10-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 26. He scrambled. Tackle around the 38-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. He's going to try and scramble. And he has it on the corner. He keeps it. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Runs outside for a nice game. Call it a game of five yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets it. He's in space. That makes it first and ten. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. 
You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. Tries to buy some time. Slides down. They bring the quarterback down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. The Hurricanes lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Hope from the nine. He's taken down at the 36. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Miami is up four. Hey, hey, hey. Steps out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 39. Pressured and run down. That is a loss of six. Third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number three, the intended receiver on the way. That makes it fourth and 12. Mitchell is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 32-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Fires to his receiver, first down. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. The Blazers use their second timeout. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Quick throw, they bring him down in the backfield. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. And watch out because they can return this. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. And he hits him hard at the 23-yard line. 
We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. 10-6, Miami. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass. And if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position. And, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Very close game now as we start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 23. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Miami is up by four. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. It out, and he's taken down at the 44 yard line. He goes out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 21 yard line. That makes it first and 10. They go back to him on a quick throw. Big play, and it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Him down for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Miami holds a four point lead. He's taken down right around the eight yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. Tackles him hard at the one. Wiggins picks him up around seven yards with that catch. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick.
Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires out to his wideout. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 21. He's got his half back. They'll drop him for a loss. Third and ten. Ball on their own 19. Five wide. Big hit, he stopped in his tracks. He's to the 40. Whoa, he just took a licking. The Blazers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Miami is up by a touchdown. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. He would tackle immediately. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. Makes it out to about the 13. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's tackled at the 10. So the running back comes away with a short gain on the play, and he also gets a first down. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. It's the ninth play of the drive. Let's go, Mike 50, Mike 50. Miami up seven points. He's scrambling, and they got it. Great play by the defense. Ooh, that time they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with a sack.
Second down and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. Touchdown, Canes! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Miami's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. He makes his way to about the 38. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Don't leave yet, folks. We still got one more quarter to go. 20 to 6, Hurricane. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Tackle at the 42. Slings it, and he's tackled at the 44. Greenwell awaits the snap. Tackle at the 27. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Out of bounds, that's the 25. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. This is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back, the quarterback puts the ball right on the money for a nice game. He lets it fly. It's going the other way. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. Boy, this defense makes it look so easy. Clearly, there was a breakdown in the blocking scheme, and when that happens, it's so much tougher to make a good throw. First and 10, ball on the 32. Throws it deep. Boy, a big play like that can really spark this team. Look at the sideline. They're fired up, and if they score here, could put them in a position to maybe tie this game up. Catches it. 
Gain of 10 on that. That'll make it second and inches. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. Gain of two on the play. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 16. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for Just under three to go in regulation. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and five now following the defensive penalty. his receiver touchdown that was a well drawn up play for the wideout yeah they saw something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive and the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass and he tacks on the extra point UAB is ready to kick it away. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 30. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Brad, at this point, this defense has to do everything in their power to try to strip that ball away to get the ball back to their own offense to see if they can get a chance to win this game. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20, the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Miami is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. That makes it first and ten. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He airs it out. And he's tackled right away. The defense has got to play until the game is over. You can't give up some big plays and give this team some life and give them a chance to maybe tie this game up. you got to close the door. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 11. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11. Caught 
caught. Open field. Steps out of bounds at the nine. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds around the two-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Touchdown, Blazers. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. A little over a minute in the game. Brought down at the 45. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. The Blazers using their third and final timeout. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They come out on an empty backfield. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Spikes the ball. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He's taken down at the 39. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Number 44. The spike will stop the clock. That'll make it third and one. So we're looking at another third down here. Under a minute left in the game. Clears it out to the right to the halfback. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 48. Call it a game of four yards. First down. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team.
Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 27-20, Hurricane. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.